What's up guys, Genius Pie Trap, and this is Time Rifters. Now this is actually the second video of Time Rifters that I've done. The first one was using the Oculus Rift on a very early version of the game. This is the full release Steam version of Time Rifters. This time around I am going to show you it in full screen instead of the split screen view with the little picture of me wearing the Oculus Rift with my head bobbing up and down. If you want to go ahead and watch that video, but the game can be controlled either way with or without the Oculus Rift. You can use the mouse and keyboard, you can use the controller or the Oculus Rift. Very much more enjoyable with the Oculus Rift, though the game is still loads of fun without the Oculus Rift. All right, let's uh, jump in here to the main menu, which is phenomenal, by the way. We basically have three episodes with five arenas in each episode. The goal of the game is to make it through all five arenas of the episode and destroy as many blocks as possible. It's um, shooting the blocks, you wanna upgrade your weapons, and there's multiple playthroughs of each arena. So let's get going here. We'll, we'll do stage one of arena two, or uh, arena one of stage two. Now, as you can see here, I spawn as the blue guy, and there is some doppelgangers there by me. And what's going to happen here is I'm going to pick a weapon and go through the stage. Then, when I'm complete, the yellow guy will come. He'll come pick a weapon, upgrade the weapon because he'll then have gold and play the stage with my first playthrough going on at the same time. You'll kind of see. Let's, uh, let's go with the rocket launcher. Now I can't upgrade anything here because I don't have any gold yet, but we'll collect some. So I run out here and these red and white blocks that you see, that's what I want to destroy. Now, since I played this before, I know that I want to run down here, I want to skip those, and I'm going to drive this monster back and destroy him. And kind of ignore everything I see, because I know that on my second playthrough, this will be happening, clearing the way for my second and third and fourth playthrough. You'll kind of get the picture once I play this again. And I'm going to destroy these blocks and those yellow orb things there is the gold which I will use to then upgrade my weapons. Now as far as graphics goes this game looks pretty great good enough okay without the Oculus Rift. With the Oculus Rift it looks excellent very phenomenal it just pops it's a great view it's kind of a realistic mix with minimal things. Okay, so now that you can see I'm the yellow guy, there's the blue guy. You can see me moving around, explaining to you what I was explaining to you before. But now I'm the yellow guy. And there I am picking a weapon, but the yellow guy's gonna pick weapon. So we did the rocket launcher. Let's do the flat cannon, probably my favorite weapon of the game, actually. And now we have some gold to spend, so we'll get some acid, we'll get some reflect, and we'll get a bunch of flak. There we go. Now with this upgrade out there, and there's my blue guy. He's running out there. He's shooting some stuff. He's going to run down there, drive the monster back. While he's doing that, I'm going to take out these blocks and destroy as much as I can. So when my third playthrough character comes through, he can do even more damage. Now, as you can see, I can run, and while he's still fighting that monster, I can now destroy these guys that I had to run past in my first playthrough. And that's the main draw of the game. Um, there's a lot of strategy involved. You have four playthroughs. You want to strategize what weapons you pick first and second and third and fourth and you want to strategize where you go going with your first guy, where you go with your second guy, where you go with your third guy. You can't just keep on going the middle and hitting the same blocks with each character because you'll never 
get all the blocks. So here I am. Now I'm the purple guy. There's my yellow guy. There's my blue guy. And we're going to go through the stage a third time. Except we're not. I'm going to quit to the stage. Let's go back. And I want to really talk more about the Oculus Rift with this game. Because I, I think that's very important. Um, all right, let's. Uh, let, while I talk about it, let, we might as well. I might as well show you another episode. Um, let me first talk about. Um, okay, see how I have experimental here. That means I went and I cleared out an entire episode, unlocking experiment mode. And what that means is I can go to each stage, any stage I want, and. Um, do unlimited um, gold, okay, just to play around. There's also this record mode. There's no standard multiplayer. Instead, we have a record mode. What this means is I can go record two stages or two playthroughs, the first two guys of me through a stage, and it'll hear me talking. So maybe I can give some specifics on a um, strategy, for say, and play through an entire episode and Upload it to Steam Workshop where you can download it and play the second two characters off of my first two characters. Very neat idea. I, I, I think that's an excellent idea for this type of game. Um, bravo for that idea. I, I think it's a fun, great idea. I'm going to upload some episodes so you guys can check it out. I'll do some talking. I'll talk smart. I'll talk stupid or whatever you want to translate it and just to see how it works but I've messed around with it a little bit great idea let's uh let's hop into this stage here because I want I do want to touch more on the oculus rift and all right um let's do particle ball you haven't seen that yet and now as you can see here I have infinite gold so I can really upgrade this thing if I wanted to again we're in experimental mode now Normally I wouldn't be able to do this on my first playthrough, but this is kind of a mess around mode. And it's just this kind of weird floating particle ball, so you have to be close. Kind of a neat weapon that's upgraded now with acid and extra strength, but you can see it working here. Alright, Oculus Rift support. Why this game is so important. Okay. I have had the Oculus Rift since pretty much day one. First with the DK1 and then the DK2. And the DK stands for Developer Kit, meaning that the it's not the consumer version, okay? So since day one, I've had to deal with a lot of software that a lot of it doesn't work very well. There's a lot of troubleshooting involved. Okay, point one, this game, it just works right off the bat. It works great. It it works with the DK1, it works with the DK2. I have had no issues with it whatsoever. Great frame rate. Excellent, okay. Um, another issue I've had since the DK, or since the release of the Oculus, is the actual software itself, okay. We've had a lot of snippets of of games not even snippets of games but snippets of demos okay i'm talking stuff like alone in the rift and um a lot of horror games it seems um th there's also a lot of games like i cool 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 games of novelty games okay i'm talking stuff like rift coaster or all the other roller coaster games, or the bungee jumping games, or the falling from the airplane games. They're novelty games. They're not really games, okay? Um, yes, they are fun to play for a while, but it's not nothing you're going to play a lot of, okay? This is an actual game. This I want to play more of. It's... Perfect. Right, let me let me point out this crab here before anything. This crab does not look impressive on a full screen 1080p monitor or whatever you're playing it on. I mean, it, it looks good enough, okay? But when you look at it through the rift, 
it's a whole nother experience and I know it's hard to explain that to you if you haven't seen the rift but if you have the rift I think you know what I'm talking about I'm gonna you guys get the gist of that stage I'm, I'm gonna exit out of here but I, I do want to talk more about the rift um, thirdly we've had a lot of games that were developed as normal games with rift support shoot in okay I'm talking stuff like Team Fortress 2 or Half-Life 2 or Mirror's Edge or all these other games or Quake or whatever and the rift support was added on later and let's be honest it doesn't work exactly the way it should okay Time Rifters works exactly the way it should in fact the controls as far as first-person shooters are go is it's perfect oculus rift controls with this are perfect i i can't imagine them any better it basically works where wherever you look is where it's going to aim okay um like i'm looking here i'm looking there that's where it's going to shoot and it just works flawlessly really um I want to see more first person shooters with this same type of control with the Oculus Rift. A multiplayer game would be phenomenal. It would be so much fun, okay? Now I guess the question is how much do we have here? We have three episodes, five arenas in each episode. Admittedly it's not a lot of content, okay? But for $9.99 that's a great price point for how much content you are getting okay if you own an oculus rift you need to buy this game this game has to be in your collection because it's really one of the very first games for the oculus rift like a full game okay you you have your friends over and you want to show off your oculus rift and you put in First you start them out and you show them the Tuscany demo and they look around and they see all the cool sights and they say, wow, it's just like I'm standing there. And then you put on the Rift Coaster and they ride the Rift Coaster and they fall back into their seats and everyone laughs and ha ha ha. And then next you show them Alone in the Rift or dread halls or one of the horror games and a monster pops out and they they jump and they scare it and after that's all said and done okay after that's all said and done they ask okay but i want to see a real game right now your options are again these games that are shoehorned in like quake and 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 team fortress 2 and half-life 2 and they they kind of half work but not really Skyrim, all those games. They, they kind of half work, but not really, okay? This game works. This is a full game that you can show them that it's fun. It works with the Rift. It works very well with the Rift. It's great frames per second. It's There's no motion sickness. It controls extremely well. It, it's just a superb game. Um, it's a perfect example of the future of the Oculus Rift. Bravo, Proton Studios. I, I, can this game be better? Absolutely. Um, I would like to see, we, right now we have a percentage of how many blocks destroyed. I would like to see a proper scoring system. I feel like I could play this, that arena a couple more times and get 100% on all of them. I'd like to see a leaderboard scoring system. Um, the whole green light thing again, what they have for green light is great. I would also like to see a map editor where we could maybe place blocks, upload it to Steam Workshop and download each other's levels. I think that would be great. Maybe DLC. I know the developers have said no real plans for DLC, but eh, you know, here's me crossing fingers. Maybe a Time Rifters 2. But all in all, Proton Studios, hats off to you great job for making an honest to goodness good oculus rift game um this is me clapping bravo bravo 
Um, cause to be honest with you, I, I, I have kind of been sick of the Oculus Rift. I have been sick of the novelty. I have been sick of the half snippets of games. This has gotten me excited about the Oculus Rift again. Um, again, kudos to you. I will gladly support anything you guys do in the future. I have faith. Again, one more time. Bravo. And with that, before I ramble on any too much longer, I'm going to leave it at that and talk to you guys later. Like, subscribe, all that thing. I'm also going to be giving away a couple keys, a bunch of keys to this game actually. So I'll leave uh, details in the description and hopefully you guys catch it before the contest is over. But I'm going to leave it there. Genius Pie Trap, over and out. Later. Bye. Victory. The outcome was never really in doubt. Eat my dust. Let's have a go at it. Godspeed, you magnificent bastard. Giddy up. It is good time to be giant. Guts and glory.